In every worthy wish of yours, I shall be your helpmate. Helpmate. Take the fourth step, that we may be ever full of joy. I will ever live devoted to you, speaking words of love and praying for your happiness. Take the fifth step, the walking round a fire. That we may serve the people. I will follow close behind you and help to serve the people. Hmm. Take the sixth step. That we may follow our vows in life. I will follow you in all our vows and duties. Take the seventh step. that we may ever live as friends. You are my best friend, my highest guru, and my sovereign lord. And then I put a sweetened wheat cake in her mouth. And I put a sweetened wheat cake in his mouth. And with that, we were pronounced man and wife. We were both 13. <laughs> it's beautiful. Even as a boy, I thought so. Thank you. Now, trying to keep up with you is like chasing a jackrabbit. <laughs> And you've come all this way because you think something is going to happen. Is it? Perhaps. I've come here to think about it. You remember much of South Africa? Oh, yes. A great deal. I've traveled so far and thought so much. As you can see, my city is a sea city. Always full of Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs, Jews, Persians. My family sect was the Pranami, Hindu, of course. But in our temple, the priest used to read from the Muslim Quran and the Hindu Gita, moving from one to the other as if it mattered not which book was being read, as long as God was being worshipped. When I was a boy, I used to sing a song in the temple. Mm. A true disciple knows another's woes as his own. He bows to all and despises none. Like all other boys, I sang the words, not thinking what they meant or how they might be influencing me. I've traveled so far, and all I've done is come back home. Wait a minute. You know what you're going to do, don't you? It would have been very uncivil of me to let you make such a long trip for nothing. Where are you going? Come. Where are we going? I'm going back to the ashram. Then I'm going to prove to the new viceroy that the king's bitch no longer runs in India. Salt. Yes, sir. He's going to march to the sea and make salt. 